Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. Um, so I've got an updated review for the Resurrection um, version 1.9. I freaking love it. Uh, the new version comes with a couple more uh, mods and fixes and stuff. Um, Alright, let me show you some of that stuff here. And, uh, well, let's go to settings. And uh, you'll find that you still have ROM control um, themes uh, for ROM control. Let me just walk you through for those of you first timers. Um, so general UI. Um, I've got 180 rotation enabled, so I can do 180 rotation. Um, very fast rotation there. Recent Windows style. I've got it at Web OS style. So if you hold down the button, it's going to look like that it looks really cool um, boom boom uh, up or down and uh, that's really cool um, LCD density you don't really have to mess with that there's actually a um, bunch of different files this ROM comes with um, it comes with the ROM file tablet UI mod uh, default UI also pitch black theme and default theme this is uh, just the ROM. I just installed the ROM. You just wipe and install it. You don't have to install Google Apps for this one. Um, but I'll show you the pitch black theme after this, after I kind of do an overview. And also the tablet UI mod also. Um, that way you know you have all these options. Also, I've got my custom carrier to Zetomax. So we'll say Zetomax. It kind of looks cool. Uh, hold back to kill. So you can hold down the uh, back button to kill apps. Um, like I said, I'm I'm on browsing and I was like, oh, I pressed that wrong button. Hold down the volume, uh, back button, and it's zapped. And you can switch back to the settings here. And uh, rotation delay, this will um, allow you to not wait that long before changing. So I've set it up to 10 milliseconds, so it rotates very quickly. Whoop. I keep pressing buttons. There we go. Pretty darn fast. Um, in the navigation bar, if you want uh, three extra bottom bars, you can you can add it here, enable it. I don't need it. Lock screen options is great. Um, you can choose lock screen wallpaper, um, lock screen style. If you want to launch four four apps, go for quad. If you want eight apps, um, go for octo. And also, you can enable lock screen battery percentage, uh, lock screen weather. Um, you can enable your calendar from your Gmail or any other calendar sources. Um, you can choose the calendar sources um, and also multiple events. Enable fast torch. I showed you that last time. Um, you can hold down the power button at any time while your phone's turned off and it turns into a uh, fast torch. And you can set all your apps that you want to launch from the launcher from there. I only got like two or three apps on there. But you can mess with that even more. Uh, weather, you have to enable this for the weather to actually work. Um, custom location, let's do uh, San Francisco. Alright, and now we should be able to get um, weather. Where's my weather? No, it's not showing up yet. Um, enable. Okay, let's turn that to one minute. Maybe it's not. Um, I'm not showing. All right, we'll see it in, in a bit. Um, and also power saver, all these things. Performance. Now it comes with Sia kernel, which means you can you don't have to install it separately. Um, I've got it at 1.6 gigahertz. I like Smartass V2 the best. I was using Lulz Active before, but it, you can play with it. But Smartass V2 should be pretty good. Minimum CPU. Um, you can set this a little bit higher uh, if you feel any lag. Um, but I haven't felt any lag, and I'm running pretty fine, so I'm going to set it at boot. But if you please test it first before you set it at 1.6, um, some phones cannot handle it, and if you set it at boot, you might end up in a boot loop. You don't want that. Free memory, um, you can set it to the maximum, and also set it at boot. Scrolling cache, um, you can improve performance by force enable. Uh, fast charge. If you enable this, um, you'll be able to connect to your USB via computer and charge faster. Um, but you have to unclick this if you want to use your phone as a USB disk drive. So, color multi uh, tuning, kind of cool. Change the colors a little bit if you want. 
but I'm not going to do that here. And uh, startup tweaks. So that's the ROM control. So what has been changed from 1.8.1 for those of you coming from the previous versions? Um, you'll see that you have EX tweaks, which is pretty cool. Um, now you can actually control the. There's this is a dual core phone. Um, you can actually change it um, CPU hot plug, and this will control uh, when your C second CPU actually comes into play. It'll be disabled if threshold like you know you're not running that many apps below 20 percent. It's not going to run. Um, all, and also if you want super you know if you want really good. Eh, if if you want to use full power, you can always have second core on. If you want to save battery, you can always have it as soft. I mean, just another option you can play with, and there's a bunch of different options. And also for GPU, you can overclock your GPU. I think here, first lowest, um, second step, third step. So I'm gonna get the third step, which is the highest. I'm not sure if 400 will. I actually I haven't done this before. <laughs> Maybe they'll make it faster. All right, so at the fastest setting, it's going to go at 400. Um, screen, BLN, uh, backlight notifications. Um, that's cool. It'll give you uh, notifications when your phone is turned off and you get an email or you get a tweet or whatever. Um, so those, these are really cool options here. There's another MISC stuff. So you do get the external tweaks. I'm a lot of been people when complaining you can't read the SD card internal. It works fine now. Um, I don't know what it was before. It was far, uh, working fine for me for version 8.1.1.8.12. Uh, Comes with the Flipboard app. Um, if you want it, you know. So I don't. I don't know. I haven't used this. Uh, you can flip, I guess. I'm just reviewing ROMs, not apps right now. Um, so that's about it. It's pretty good stuff. Um, let me go ahead and, and show you installing the um, the tablet UI. Just copy all the files into a directory in your SD card or internal storage. That way you can always you know do all the mods. So I'm gonna reboot into recovery, or you can hold down the volume up, center, and the power button together. Let's go install the black pitch theme and see what what that makes it. Um, so your phone should reboot, and you got the SIA kernel. Uh, install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card or internal, depending on where you put the files to. I put it in my download directory called this resu directory. That's where I put all the 1.9 files. Oops. Yeah. And. Uh, See, you can um, enable tablet mode by flashing that and also disable it, uh, flashing the default. Um, I'm gonna install the Remix ICS Pitch Black. You know. Yes, yeah. A pitch Black theme, that's actually a theme. So install it. Yeah, and then it will give us a uh, black pitch theme. And uh, we'll also try the tablet mode and put it back. And that's it. And reboot, and we should have the black pitch theme, um, which I'm looking forward to. And let me pause this video, and I'll be ba right back when it boots up completely. So I got it rebooted, and now you can see the weather widget working now. That's awesome. Um, it wasn't working before, but now it is. And uh, this is the black pitch theme. So, what's different about it? Hmm? Not sure. Um, doesn't look entirely too different to me. I don't know why. Oh, I'm an idiot. You have to actually go to settings and change it. Um, go to settings, themes, I think. Current, no? What is the theme? Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything to change here. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, let's let's go reboot into recovery and let's try the tablet mode real quick. And I'll be back when it's in recovery. You know what might have happened? Um, actually, that that the latest version does ship with the pitch black theme. So um, install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Let me go install the other one. Um, the 
tablet UI mode right there. And let's try the tablet mode real quick. Just take a second, go back, and reboot. And I'll be back when this is completely reboot. Actually, let me show you um, the startup screen. It's kind of cool. I've got a dual boot it. I've got actually Resurrection 1.8.1 running on my other side, and my primary is the 1.9. Um, that way you can try both, you know, and then when, you know, when you feel like you're comfortable, you can copy the uh, first ROM to the second ROM, and then you can use the main ROM for something else. So that's, that's the, that's the boot up screen. For those of you who haven't seen it before, I just wanted to show you that. It looks kind of cool. So I'll be back when this boots up. Well, while this is booting up, uh, let me give you a list of things that were changed. Um, version 1.9 comes with Sea Kernel, I mentioned that earlier. Also, it comes with uh, Dr. Dre's Beats Audio um, light sensor issue fix, Wi-Fi channel issue fix, video editor app fix, uh, CM9 theme chooser edit, wallpaper chooser edit, um, Nova Launcher edit, and also uh, framework resurrection eh, something, <laughs> faster MTP files transfer. Um, yeah, I noticed that on some ROMs that your MTP file transfer really slows down, but with this one you shouldn't have any problems. Um, Google Apps is included now. Um, sorry, this this is the pitch black theme. You're supposed to uh, flash the default theme if you want kind of a um, you the other stuff. Um, tablet UI and uh, default UI. So this is the tablet UI zip I just flashed. So now I have um, tablet mode. I don't really like it that much. <laughs> I like it on my Galaxy Note, just I feel like on my Galaxy S2 its screen is too small. But the icons there, you can fix it easily by going to Apex Settings and changing the number of drawers. Uh, number of... Change the grid size. Portrait grid. So you can change this number, I think it's 6x6 six six for tablet mode or something like that. You can play with it. Um, let's see what that looks like. So yeah, so now it kind of looks right there, and uh, yeah, I think that's about right. And you can mess with that. Uh, I'm not gonna really go into this. Other than that, you can do the tablet mode, and uh, if you want to go back to the phone mode, you can reboot into recovery and flash the default, which I'll show you real quick, and I'll be back. Um, so let's change it back to uh, default. Install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, go find the directory where you have all the Resurrection 1.9 files. And I'm going to choose the default apps here. So that's actually the default themes and stuff. Actually, let's change the tablet mode first. Um, sorry. Let's go back to default. Um, default UI mode, that one. This will turn us back into phone mode. Um, but I'm just showing you because there's options, but I personally just like to use it as a phone for the Galaxy S2. And let's, uh, let's try the default, um, whoops, default apps for, this is the default theme. And now we've tried everything you can do with the Resurrection Remix ROM. Um, so there's a lot of combinations you can do. But I do like the um, I do like the black pitch theme that it comes with reboot system now. But if you don't like it, you can flash that default theme. Um, so there we go, and I'll be back when this is done. So every time you change the tablet mode to phone, phone to tablet, it's gonna change the applications um, because the ta applications are different for tablet mode and phone mode. So that's what it's doing right now. I just want to show you that. So I gotta reboot it. Um, here we go, and it's back into my um, my phone mode. And I think this is supposed to be default theme. Um, not sure. Not sure what changed. <laughs> but it's okay. Great ROM. Um, looks like I. Oh, I see. I see. The the bar is kind of up there, and. You know what? It's a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to go reflash the black pitch theme. I would suggest just stay on the black pitch theme. I like it much better. Um, anyway, that was an overview of the best ROM you can, ICS ROM you can get, I think, for your Galaxy S2i9100. 
Um, it's been refined. Um, everything's kind of gotten better over time. And I think 1.91 is, or 1.9 is probably the best um, ICS ROM right now. And uh, Omega ICS AOKP is also good um, that I've tried. And uh, you know, most a lot a lot of the ROMs are actually all pretty good. Um, just I I've, I really I really have been liking this one because I've been using it a lot. And if you go to XDA, you'll find that this has actually the more most hits, four million hits for Resurrection ICS. So it's not just my opinion. Uh, overall, I think this is one of probably the best ROM for your i night. <laughs> i9100 and uh, if you have a Galaxy S2 i9100 um, don't forget to flash this ROM you'll love it if you haven't yet um, especially the latest version 1.9 and uh, if you um, if you have this phone uh, or AT&T or T-Mobile Galaxy S2 don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2root.com I update you uh, once or twice a week with uh, uh, the most important ROM of the week uh, tips hacks and more and it's a great way to communicate with me via email and uh, I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog and uh, if you're on YouTube, um, please hit that like button for me here. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here. And if you have Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Plus, uh, share it with your friends with you using the share button here or your favorite um, sharing thingy. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks, you guys, for supporting my channel. I'm going to actually um, I have to go clean up my house. <laughs> um, but just don't buy an iPhone. All right, see you all later.